Hi friends, this video clip will give a brief idea on cotton spinning, cotton yarn spinning, just the process involved, small video clip, okay. For those who are not studied diploma or uh, B.Tech or M.Tech, whatever types of courses, okay, let them understand what is spinning. Here, cotton spinning, the raw material for cotton spinning mill is the cotton fiber. Cotton fibers are sourced from ginning mills for local or it can it can be imported for better varieties okay cotton fibers earlier i told in the cotton fiber class it's having different staple length different varieties okay that is staple length 0.5 inches to 2.5 inches 3 inches okay so and also the cotton spinning mills sourced cotton fiber by keeping the parameters or factors in view that is one is fineness fineness second one is color third one is tenacity fourth one is cohesiveness cohesiveness okay for if one is what is fineness, color, tenacity, fineness, and staple length. Staple length. These are the main criteria, and other than this is percentage of impurities. Or foreign matter. And also one of the part, another is color contamination. Color contamination. These are the six, seven. These are the main, main important. Other many other factors are also there to consider the purchase of raw materials from the fiber source to spin the yarn. Okay, fineness is the spinning mill considers the fineness it demands spinning mill is the customer for fiber seller cotton fiber that is ginner he may be ginner or he may be an export from the other country where but a seller this cotton spinning mill customer he will look for fineness on what base he will look what is his product spinning mill product what are the types of count he will produce some spinning mills will produce tens count twos count sixes count twenty four count that is coarser to medium counts some mills they are limited their organization is limited, their production capacity is limited to that. Some cotton spinning mills are, they have their capacity, their capacity and capability is to produce medium to finer, that is 30s count, 40s count, 50s, 60s, 80s, okay, these are. Sometimes 120, like that. Okay. And another point is whether they are capable of spinning yarn, that is combing, combed yarn or carded yarn. There are two types of spinning taken place in spinning yarn. One is carded yarn and is combed yarn. Combed yarn is very, very fine and qualitative. 
compared to car red. Car red is coarser, little bit coarser in terms of quality. Okay. For car red and for comb down, the staple length should be good. For car red, it's okay. Tools for the spinning wheel producing coarser counts, twos, six, eights, tens, twelves, half inch to one inch is okay. Half inch is okay, but comb down requires at least one inch better quality because comb downs are going for knitting knitted goods. Okay, see fineness what count it depends first like this fineness depends upon what count he is going to produce second one color color of the cotton always we prefer white bright cotton white right sometimes gray will come sometimes yellowish will be there that will harm his quality so we prefer better color and tenacity Tenacity of the cotton, I told you. How much tenacity? 1.5. This tenacity, tenacity means strength of the fiber. Strength should be good. Strength of the fiber should be good. How much the fiber is strength, strong, that which of uh, the yarn produced is stronger okay cohesiveness the fiber of cohesiveness better cohesiveness in property so that while while twisting and spinning the yarn the fibers can stick together twist together and give strength to the yarn and staple length i already told you point it depends upon the fineness and staple length uh, it depends upon the what counts is it going to produce that is product and input is foreign matters also you consider how much percentage of foreign matter or impurities we can expect in the raw materials how much dust and dirt make go out from the raw cotton while spinning and color contamination sometimes color contamination is broken threads a blue red like the color color thread cotton materials will be there any other material will be there in the processing that may harm the end product of the spinning wheel correct if nobody will purchase color contaminated yarn weaving wheel will not purchase contaminated yarn because his fabric will be color contaminated the garment manufacturer will complain to weaving mill the fabric is color contaminated. So, in the spinning stage itself, in the ginning stage itself, it should be taken care of for these two foreign matters and color contaminations. Though the spinning mill is taking further, further care before it is fed into the spinning process. Okay. Next, this is one point. Second, what are the process involved in spinning okay what are the process involved in the spinning wheel process involved in spinning wheel spinning wheel first is blow room Second one is carding. Third one is comber. Fourth one is grafting. Fifth one is light frame. Sixth one is ring frame seventh one is winding 
Nine space plus five two. I am only telling about the production process involved. I am not telling about any testing lab or R and D or marketing or any um, capacity department, capacity planning department. I am not telling about only production process. Production, production process. Okay. Here, just brief idea. Lorum, Lorum is a department having heavy and bigger size machines involved. And the space required for this installation of blow room machines are is required more space is, more space is required. And uh, in this in this cotton is fed and input cotton is input before feeding cotton to the blow room the peoples the worker in the blow room the in the mixing stage okay i forgot in here mixing will be there i forgot in sorry mixing department mixing in mixing before the cotton feeding to the blow room the received bale form of cottons are opened and make them spread in the area and find out any color contamination is there any impurities are there checking is taken place once it is confirmed this confirmed and it's, it's a right cotton to feed then it's fed to the blow room the input in blow room the input is cotton is there here the input is raw cotton Output is lab. Output is lab. Here the cotton, raw cotton is fed and it is passes through the blow room te technology in the process blow room machines. I am not discussing on the uh, blow room machines or its how it works. Just personal, just process I will tell. Raw cotton feed. The outcome after passing all the machines, all, all the machines and rollers, so many, so many, so many things will be there. The outcome will be lab. The cotton is coming out in the form of sheet. It is cotton coming in the form of sheet that is rolled. It is rolled, it is bundled in a roll form. That is called roll lab. Okay, it is in the roll form. The sheet in the roll form. Okay. Now raw cotton is converted into sheet form, lap form. Here, this lap, this lap is an input for carding. In carding, again, this lap is again the fibers are made individualization of the fibers taking place. Here, the, here in this lab, lumps of fibers will be there, lumps, and also the, the entanglement and the jigja, whatever, the placement of fibers, very ta tangle in form, like oven, like non-oven, and uh, fibers are not free, lumps will be there. Here, this lab, sheet form lab is fed to the carding machine. In carding, the individualization of the fiber takes place. The all fiber are gets individualized, free from each other. And whatever dust and dirt is uh, taken out. In blow room also, maximum percentage of dust and dirt impurities will go out. Clear, cotton is clean from that. Here also cotton is cleared, dust and dirt will go. And that is, fibers are free here, individualized, free from each other. And the output will be 
psi bar. Psi bar is is a it is a form of spiral. Okay, it is a form of spiral. It is filed in a can. Okay, just I am giving an idea. I am not going to deep. This lap this sheet form of lap is converted into lap form. Lap is like tow, like rope. It's like rope is coming out. In this fibers are very free, individualized fibers, and dust and dirt are still further in here. Next, this fiber here. If the spinning wheel is producing is producing combed yarn, then this is the additional process is added. Okay, if the mill is only producing carded yarn then this process is not required this is additional okay now we are assuming that the spinning mill is producing combed yarn okay that is for bazaar or whatever it is combed yarn fine yarn okay this fiber is this is a carded fiber i call as carded fiber this is carded Carded fiber is put filled, filled here. In combed yarn, four to five, four to five cans of carded fiber is fed, and again drafting takes place here. Again, fibers are straightened out. Any entangle or any disorder, disorder placement. Or whatever the this order will be there. Not the in slime and carded slime, the slivers are individualized, but they are not parallel to the strand or toe. But in combed yarn, the fibers are arranged, drafted, drawn and drafted, and arrange them straight, make them straight, parallel to the strand. That is combing takes place. But by combing. By combing and drafting and combing, the fibers are the disordered fibers are ordered in a systematically and is put parallel to the strand and moving all fibers are straight so that it will help for producing very fine count yarn in a ring play. Okay, and also the fly, the percentage of fly that is the short fibers flying in the air the, that that can be reduced in this combine okay this fiber here what is the output of this comber this is combed fiber combed fiber it is also setting on can okay but here four or five Carded yarns together, clubbed together and drafted, combed and straightened and drawn as a one sliver, that is a combed sliver. Okay. Now the next process is this combed sliver. Okay, this combed sliver is fed to the drafting. It's fed to the drafting machine. In drafting machine, what will happen? All fibers, early fibers are free from dust and dirt, impurities, color contamination, and this order placement taken arranged in a properly or placed. All fibers are properly arranged and straightened. After this, again. In drafting, again drafting of this comb sliver taking place, carded sliver or comb sliver taking place. Here the fibers are drawn, still drawn, stretching, and make fibers are stretching. And here eight to ten comb sliver or carded slivers are together and drafted, together drafted and drawn out as a single sliver. Here. Four to eight, around 
six six to eight ohms level or cards level to special level and here is a drawing slide drawing slide okay this is put in a can okay this put in a can here six to eight card ohms levels are drafted here still fibers are get straighter nature straighter 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 and i mean all fibers eight here left left and right side the this comb or card fibers can are kept kept and taken off fiber and drafted in a rollers okay that is roller and drawn out fibers are straighter further and arrange systematically fibers in the fiber in the drawn fiber this fiber is ready for again life time text for six life time in this here is the drawn fiber drawn fiber okay this is drawn fiber in this life frame the rope form of sliver is is converted into small thread small thread thread means not uh, yarn like it's a rowing it's a thick small it's reducing uh, reducing the diameter of the sliver diameter of the sliver okay 